नागालैंड के पूर्व मुख्यमंत्री और पिछली सरकार के विपक्ष के नेता श्री टी आर जे यांग एनडीपीपी विधायक के रूप में नागालैंड के डिप्टी सीएम के रूप में सत्ता में वापस आए साल 2018 में श्री टी आर जेलियांग के नेतृत्व में एनपीएफ पार्टी सत्ताईस सीटों के साथ सदन में सबसे बड़ी पार्टी के रूप में उभरने में कामयाब रही लेकिन एनडीपीपी बीजेपी गठबंधन सरकार बनाने में कामयाब रहा नगर राजनीतिक मुद्दे के समाधान की तलाश में एनपीएफ 2021 में भाजपा एनडीपीपी गठबंधन में शामिल हो गया ताकि विपक्ष रहित सरकार बनाई जा सके इतना ही नहीं साल 2022 में श्री टी आर जे यांग ने एनपीएफ के 21 विधायकों के समूह का नेतृत्व करते हुए एनडीपीपी पार्टी में शामिल हो गए इस बार श्री टी आर जे यांग ने रियो के नेतृत्व वाली एनडीपीपी उम्मीदवार के पक्ष में पेरिन विधान क्षेत्र ऐसी चुनाव लड़ा और वो विजयी भी हुए श्री टी आर जे यांग ने हमारे रिपोर्टर को खुलासा किया कि एनडीपीपी में जाने का उनका फैसला सत्तारूढ़ व्यवस्था का हिस्सा बनने की आवश्यकता से प्रेरित था क्योंकि गठबंधन निर्वाचन क्षेत्र और पेरेन जिले के लिए अच्छा है लक्ष्य सत्तारूढ़ बेंचों के पक्ष में बैठना है न कि केवल एक विधायक बनना ताकि वह रोलिंग पक्ष पर लंबे समय तक नागा राजनीतिक मुद्दे को मजबूती से आगे बढ़ा सके नमस्कार आप सबको और आप अभी नागालैंड में हमारे साथ खास बात चिकले आप लोगों के सामने हम लाने वाले हैं श्री टी आर जेलैन फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ नागालैंड द लीडर ऑफ अपोजिशन ऑफ नागालैंड और फॉर्मर यू डी ए चेयरमैन और अभी नागालैंड की नई सरकार की डिप्टी सीएम जिन्होंने कल स्वेरिंग किया और आज हमारे साथ खास बात चिकले तैयार है तो आए जानते हैं ये अपने इस पूरे सफर में कैसे ये रिक्रोस्पेक्ट करते हैं सर आप आई वॉज सेटिस्फाइड विथ माई पास एक्सपीरियंस एज चीफ मिनिस्टर इट वॉज ओनली फॉर अबाउट फोर ईयर्स बट आई वॉज सेटिस्फाइड विथ माई अचीवमेंट ड्यूरिंग दिस शॉर्ट पीरियड एंड लेटर ऑन आई बिकेम अपोजिशन लीडर इन नागालैंडिव असेंबली एंड आई I performed as opposition leader. I think that was the, the duty of the opposition to point out the mistake of the government and to bring corrective measures. I think I have done my best as opposition leader. And later on, we became opposition-less government. All the parties came together and formed opposition-less government. That is. towards naga solution political solution so the concept was uh, good and we have accepted that uh, concept of forming this opposition as government there also we did our best how to how to bring uh, naga solution come to a conclusion we did our best but despite our best effort the negotiating groups could not come to an amicable settlement so the matter is still pending and later on i was uh, elected as uh, uda chairman and we performed the government under the banner of the uh, uda united democratic alliance and we have faced the election uh, through this uh, uda and we are satisfied with our performance as uh, uda and now after election we have formed a new government that has gone back to uda government so let's hope we will give our best to provide a stable government sir you were one of the strongest opposition leader that the naga has uh, seen so far in the history with the majority of the npf party <coughs> in the last election but why did you choose to be the guest of some other political party when you have a very strong position in nagaland npf being the oldest regional party and all of the country so it's one of the second oldest in the country so with this prestige why do you choose to be the guest of some other party in nagaland yes i truly agree with your view that the npf is one of the oldest political party regional political party in northeast and even in india one of the 
one of the oldest regional party. We accepted the party and we contested this from this party. We provided a stable government also in the past. And last opposition, yes, we had we have had a strong opposition. But in my opinion, if in a small state like Nagaland, if we have too many uh, regional parties, then uh, we are divided into pieces, and uh, we cannot uh, we cannot secure a majority in the house. So our perception was that uh, if we merge together, the two regional parties merge together, then we can provide uh, stable government by securing uh, majority uh, majority in the house. So with that intention only, we left the party and merged into NDPP, that, so that uh, we can provide uh, stable government. All right, sir. So now with this new government and being the deputy chief minister of Nagaland government, what, how and how you will take forward the Naga political issue with this new forming government? As in the past, we have uh, already committed to the people that we will do our best to bring uh, Naga a political issue to a conclusion. But since we are not in the Western party, we are not the negotiating party. The negotiating party on behalf of Naga people, there are two groups. One is uh, seven NNPG, NNPG, and the other one is NSNIN. So it entirely depends on these uh, two negotiating groups and the uh, interlocutor who represent the government of India. But our duty and uh, our objective is to support these uh, nego negotiating uh, parties and to facilitate them. As in the past, we will give our best that uh, to bring this Naga political issue, issue into a logical conclusion. And as he have rightly mentioned, as the Deputy Chief Minister, we will support and will assist the chief minister, the leader of the house, and try to convince all the elected members to pursue and or facilitate this uh, negotiating group and to come to a logical conclusion. And that is our hope. We have not lost hope. And we pray that uh, it will surely come to a conclusion. And Naga people will see the light of the day that is a permanent peace in our land. Okay, sir. So now with the new government in hand and joining hand with the oldest and the legend leader Sri Nifio Ryoji, under his chief ministership, what do you expect from him? What portfolio are you going to be allotted for this third sir? No, a portfolio that uh, is the prerogative power of the chief minister mm. and he's yet to allocate the uh, portfolio. Mm. So. We have given time. We told him that uh, you can take your own time. You can take two, three days time, and peacefully you can work out who will be who will be good for which uh, department. But he knows best because he was uh, chief minister for the last four terms, mm -hmm. and now including this uh, tenure, he'll be on his uh, fifth inning as chief minister. So he knows best who can do for which department for the welfare of the people of the state. So with this merging of all the veteran politicians and all the senior leaders like you joining hand with Chief Minister Srini Piriyoji, except Sri Kujolu Zonyanu, who is still in the MPF party, the rest of you already joined hand together with Srini Piriyoji. So. Is it going to be an opposition-less government in this tenure? What do you comment on this set? At this stage, it is too early to say whether we'll have opposition-less government or not. Mm -hmm. But if time goes by and if it requires, we may have opposition-less government. Mm -hmm. 
But at this point of time, we have different political parties in the House now. So some should remain as opposition, some should perform as a government. So in the democratic setup, we also require opposition. But it's up to the up to the concerned the political parties and the uh, uh, ruling coalition, BGP and uh, NDPP. Then we need to take a call. Otherwise, uh, I alone cannot uh, predict now what will be the, the future at this point of time. So, this is Sri Tiar Zelen, the former Chief Minister of Nagaland, the Leader of Opposition and the UDA Chairman, and now the Deputy Chief Minister of the newly formed government in Nagaland. So, we will be bringing stories like this and we will be hearing more from Sir. Till then, stay tuned with us. Tap tak kile hamari saat dete rahe, mai thaja talna karo. Sudarshan News Channel ke liye, Kohima Nagaland se. Aap dekh rahe hai. सुदर्शन न्यूज़